peace be upon all of you. This is a Bible outreach, a Soko film, K Soko film, and Yahya, Islam, def Islam defender Yahya. We have, uh, we gather here to talk about uh, what happened in France and to talk about uh, uh, Christianity and Islam and how, uh, how they approach what happened. And uh, as, uh, as a Muslim, uh, I say that uh, no one is allowed to take anyone life without a due right. And uh, what happened was actually wrong because it's up to uh, a scholar and Islamic where, where they apply Islamic Sharia not to take the life of uh, anyone who offends the Prophet or, or anybody else before uh, he sit with a scholar and he go through a, a process of a judgment and they give him uh, time and take in consideration why he have uh, he have uh, publi publish or expose or try to mock the prophet even uh, the picture themselves they doesn't present the prophet because the prophet he doesn't look like them but the intention of the person is to insult and defend and uh, freedom of expression and freedom of uh, speak it should be uh, have boundary to respect other people's feeling and deity so uh, as a Muslim it's not up to me to go and start to publish and degrade other people deity in very uh, disgraceful way and as I said no one has the right to take somebody else's life and judge them according to his own desire. There is authority, and as long as we are here in Europe, uh, there is law to define who is right and who is wrong, Great. and we should respect uh, the law of the country where we are. And we can, uh, we can uh, object to the other who are posing this offensive in good manner and a good way uh, so we can reach a, a common ground w with respect because uh, those pictures they are not bringing anything but division and violence and hatred between the people and this will uh, bring uh, uh, society and uh, and uh, uh, havoc and uh, just disastrous and this Excellent. is That's this is my own, for, my, my own opinion <laughs> okay hello um, right so i'd like to firstly uh, for anybody who doesn't know what we're speaking of we're speaking of the recent incidents in france where samuel uh, uh, patey was beheaded with a 30 centimeter kitchen knife by an 18 year old uh, moscow born chechen I think his name's Abu Lak, but I may be wrong because I haven't looked it up recently. Um, and I'd like to refute Yaya's claims that nobody has the right to kill anybody else. And I'd like Ben to readjust the camera probably. So um, Surah 2178, um, retaliation is prescribed for you in the matter of the slain. So retaliation is prescribed when somebody has been killed. Although the Chechen uh, immigrant, um, Abulek uh, claimed that it was in retaliation for those who had uh, mocked Mohammed. Also, um, uh, fighting is enjoined on you. That's 2216. 2217, fighting in it. Say, fighting in it is a grave matter. Persecution is graver than slaughter. So, that's another admonition. Fight in the way of Allah is um, 2244. Um, I, off the top of my head, and I don't know what it is, it is, it is prescribed for you to fight, and even if you do not, do not wish to fight, Allah knows best, um, and you will fight until there is no more fitna, which is, um, for anybody who's unaware, is unbelief. So I don't say that this guy acted um, un-Islamically, I do say he acted against the laws of France, but France, unfortunately, since the Bataclan and before that, have had numerous instances of Islamic uh, terror attacks. So they, they use the Quran to justify their acts. That's not to say whether or not they're a true Muslim, because I don't know the hearts and minds of men, only God knows that. But for sure, they are not going against uh, 
you know, the views of IS or Boko Haram or ISWAP or, you know, other um, organised Islamic terror groups. So, yeah, over to you. Okay. Uh, Quran allow the person to, or not the person himself, allow the person, okay, to fight to defend himself. But God it doesn't give you the authority to go and attack somebody else. Because uh, the, uh, the Quran teach, fight the one who fight you. If somebody is coming to attack you, attack your belonging, attack your family, you have the right to defend yourself and fight against him. How about your but, prophet? But uh, I didn't interrupt, yeah, sorry, sorry. I didn't interrupt <laughs> but, uh, but uh, uh, Quran teach and you just defend yourself and you need to respect as long as you are living in a uh, different country to respect the country you are and you can go to the authority and uh, 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 and not to attack a person who are showing you picture you can take him to court you can uh, go to a justice system but you're not allowed to go uh, by yourself and as i said islam is uh, uh, talk about that the preservation of the soul and if you kill one innocent person as you kill all the humankind and it's not for anyone to take uh, to take uh, justice by himself because uh, the boy he is 18 years old i don't know the circumstances how uh, the teacher have uh, provoke him somehow uh, for the guy 18 years old to go and grab a, a, a knife and kill him i don't know how it happened but he was wrong at what he, we have he have done and you cannot judge islam by uh, a, an act for an individual and as we muslim uh, an arab country now they are uh, uh, boycotting uh, the merchandise uh, of the french and they are against how the French authority are treating Muslim. And uh, they didn't mention there was uh, an attack by two women. Uh, they are attacked two near uh, evil tower. Yeah, uh, and they stabbed uh, two Muslim wearing hijab six times. Uh, and one of them, she have a puncture in her lungs and they uh, uh, stab another woman and they don't say this is a, a Christian a Christian terrorist but when a Muslim who is was born in Russia and he's a Shishian and he's a Muslim uh, just follow his desire and because, because he of, cited yeah, have his a, defense of the Prophet in his motivation Acor according to him according to him and he is wrong by acting by himself and attacking and he didn't have the right to go and slaughter the uh, the teacher even he yeah, yeah. Uh, he offend him have a back and forth you're having a massive monologue. Have a back and forth. I, I, have got I, I was say, asked. Mate. I was asked to zip it, so I give uh, no, space no, no, to other no, people. No, back and forth. Anyway, I explained myself, and I said I disagree with this uh, 18 years old who lost his life as well, and he killed the other to take uh, revenge uh, against uh, the teacher. Thank you. Okay, so um, in terms of the, right, so I'd like to disagree. So defensive actions and retaliation, which Allah prescribes for believers, um, Yahya failed to uh, point out defense of the Prophet, which is act absolutely Islamically sound. So to defend, defend the honor of the Prophet is what has happened with these Charlie Hebdo things and all of that. It's in defense, not of Islam, in defense of the Prophet himself because it is advised by scholars that pictures of Muhammad may lead to idolatry, um, which is, is not okay in Christianity or Islam. But when Yahya says you can go to the authorities and complain, the teacher was actually giving a lesson on free speech, which is something Yahya and I both like defend here at Speaker's Corner. Um, I don't particularly like blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, but I don't say, I, I do say that people shouldn't say it, but I don't say they can't say it. Because if we can't, uh, defend against such speech if we can't hear the speech we can't know what's in somebody's heart because we aren't God and it's nice to know if someone's saying hey I think I'm gonna go and kill a load of Jews it's nice to hear them say it so we can say oh, maybe that's not a good idea so the Bible um, 
So I have, like, there's many other jihad verses, but the Bible says, an hour is coming for everyone who kills you to think that he is offering service to God. So that's one thing, that people will kill in the name of a God in order to, um, you know, to, uh, to act for God in order to kill other believers in the one true God. Um, and if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are you and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled because we are commanded to cast our anxieties onto the Lord, to love those who persecute us, to pray for those who despitefully use us. So there's a very uh, solid difference between the Islamic approach and I understand and appreciate Yahya's, uh, sorry for the runny nose, uh, the um, decrying of these actions as un-Islamic. They certainly didn't act for Yahya, I'm pretty sure. And yet they can find scripture to defend their actions. Whereas in um, Christianity, almost uh, in totality, we are told to pray for those who curse us, to love our enemies. If we are persecuted, we are blessed. We're told that they will hate us. Christ said, because the, the darkness does not understand the light, if they've hated me, a, a student cannot be greater than his master. They have hated me, they will hate you and seek to imprison you and persecute you and kill you. There's a bit of a, like, I think the psychiatric hospital is let out on a Sunday, to be fair, and then they're pretty close by, so you can't see that off camera. So, Jesus preached love. That is why he was revolutionary. He also uh, preached that the outside uh, showing of religion is not what will get you saved. It's not even what God will admire in you, it's what's in your heart. So therefore, if you hate in your heart, you are a murderer in God's sight because God sees the inner, inner life and obviously hate. It's a more powerful action. Murder can be forgiven. Hate uh, is cancerous, and it and it's great. So this young guy, this 18-year-old, um, yeah, he's he's for surely misguided. But I don't say he's un-Islamic in his actions. Also, lastly, and then I'll pass back over to Yaya. The two ladies who um, stabbed the other two ladies, which is in itself quite unusual, were described as white. They weren't described as Christian in any respect, and I don't know whether they were or not. So it's it's wrong really to assume that if someone's white, they're Christian. And also, I don't know why they were described as white, they, other than maybe some wokeness or like what they did post in light and the French stuff. He's screaming, I look at them. Yeah, he's a yeah. Uh, anyway, just ignore him. The camera can't maybe pick him up. The camera, maybe uh, the, we can move away the microphone from can't hear him. Uh, Huh? Sister I, I see, I am human. she talked yes, about Islamic and was a teacher of Islamic and she failed to know what Christianity is all about. Your religion is better than as, his religion. Don't you must be as, as Jesus well, they are said, people, they don't think I come to abolish or destroy the law and to confirm that he was talking about the law of, uh, of uh, uh, about the law of uh, Moses. He said, anyone who remove a dot, he will be called the least as the kingdom of God. So Jesus was a follower of Moses' law, which teach uh, first to Constantine, to Constantine, 15, 12, 13, kill non-believer. Jesus is a... Yeah, Jesus they killed the guy, he was murdered. Kill the son of sinner, Isaiah 14, 21. And Isaiah as well, 13, 15, 18. Baby killing. Can I answer those before you start talking telephone numbers? No, no, no. I just want to have one more, maybe. Excellent. Uh, even, even, and Deuteronomy 13, verse 13 and 19. The God of the Bible are commanding his prophet to kill the entire town is only one person worship other than the God of Israel. And this is the Bible teaching and the savage of the God of the Bible. We, and I didn't forget in Psalm 1, 15, 3, where God command his his prophet and the believer to dash baby and kill infant, kill even animal, and he didn't spare anyone. And when can I we, answer you? Answer me, please. Yes. Okay. So the Old Testament. So so Yahya forgot a key part of what Jesus said. He said, "Think not that I have come to abolish the law 
but to fulfil it. He has come to fulfil the law and something that is fulfilled is now finished. Uh, Paul speaks about in Galatians, he says, if you, I'm paraphrasing, if you attempt now that you have salvation through Christ alone, if you now attempt to become circumcised in an effort to keep the law, you have become severed from Christ, therefore you are unsaved again. So it's, um, when God speaks of a new covenant, it means he has made the first one obsolete. This is Hebrews 8.13. It is now out of date and will soon disappear. I haven't finished yet. So, yes, no, no, sorry. so within the Old Testament, God is very specific. In 1 Samuel, he speaks to Moses. Moses then makes the arrangements for the thousand here and the thousand there. What God wants is the utter destruction of the Amicalites as a result of their actions towards his chosen people. Once they are gone, I am no longer commanded to seek out Amicalites because they are no more. Um, and God allows for a certain, you know, like certain actions whereby they actually, some of the women um, who, who didn't have offspring were um, saved, as it were. So, so in the Old Testament, any prescribed killing does not apply to me because we all have the wages of sin which is death and God is in control and God owns as it were the souls of all people he can decide when and where someone dies it will not be out of his plan so um, no Christians should ever be using Old Testament verses to justify the murder of non-believers apostates false prophets anyone because thou shalt not murder is the law that Yahya says that um, still applies to Christians and yet it doesn't because the Holy Spirit indwells us and we are under the law of the spirit not of Moses but that's not to say we then wish to dishonor our parents or have other gods before God or, or cover our neighbor's ox I've yet to have a neighbor with an ox I, I you know it could happen but I probably wouldn't cover it to be fair just on, to be on the safe side I also don't murder I try not to lie I repent regularly of any sins that I've done even knowing or unknowing that's it but the wages of sin is death and anyone who is outside of the atonement of blood of Christ because of the sacrificial law of Moses that was fulfilled in Christ, the spotless lamb who takes away the sin of the world, if a Christian is thinking they're justified in murder, sadly they're mistaken. But 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 Muslims can, even with Yahya's protestations, go to the Quran and see where it says, fight those who believe not in Allah nor the last day, um, smite the unbeliever, cut the hands and the feet from either side, crucify, murder, slay and smite. Those are commands for today's Muslim as well as the and defense of the prophet is absolute. You can be killed for insulting the prophet and it's justified Islamically and scholarly and by the Imams and by the Sharia. So this Chechen obviously viewed Samuel uh, Paty as someone who had attacked Muhammad and therefore he was justified Islamically. I don't want to repeat myself. That's the first. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to repeat myself regarding what uh, this Chechen uh, Muslim done. But I, I'm going to say, uh, Jesus, peace upon him. That's what, what, why I said anyone who removes a dog from the law will be called the least, the least in the kingdom of God. Uh, ben, 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 why don't we move? We cannot, I cannot talk like this. Diva, you got your bag. Why I say Jesus peace upon him, he come to fulfill that mean to keep and apply the law because he said I don't think I come to destroy or abolish but fulfill that mean to keep and to apply but because he didn't have the power to apply so he couldn't apply it. That's why he, he said anyone who remove a dot from the law will be called the least of uh, of the least in the kingdom the of least heaven. in the kingdom of heaven that mean who in it, heaven he, it means. he doesn't apply the commandment of God in his life and as a Jesus <laughs> no is, it doesn't mean that is, I didn't interrupt sorry I did interrupt uh, regarding you shall not murder uh, when you say you shall not murder and we see that according to Christianity that God gave his own son yes. to be murdered by the sinners that he forgives them and this is exactly uh, contradicts the teaching of the father. You shall not murder. Okay, can I, answer uh, but that? I didn't. Uh, I didn't, didn't finish yet. I didn't numbers. finish. Okay. Yeah, yeah, uh, and according to the law of Moses, 
uh, kill the homosexual Leviticus uh, 2013. Make and now, and now, yeah. I didn't interrupt. Sorry, uh, the, 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 you're going, come on. Uh, the Pope now, he is uh, actually going against the Bible and accepting, accepting, uh, going against God, kill homosexual, and he have, he's saying that they have the right to have uh, normal and be accepted in the kingdom of God and the church. So the Pope is going against God. And uh, for example, uh, I, I can't answer. answer, you answer. Okay, so in terms of kill homosexuals, um, I'm pretty sure, in fact, I can guarantee you that's Old Testament. Again, so I've already refuted that. Christians, do not kill homosexuals, please, if you don't mind, because hashtag Jesus. So Jesus um, tells us that um, all sins, we're told uh, in the New Testament, may be forgiven apart from blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So that's not to say go out and kill someone and then repent for it, but there is no eternal sin other than blasphemy of the Spirit. Um, if, if, in regards to a jot or a tittle being removed, it says removed. It doesn't say that you must practice this because as I read from Hebrews, it says this covenant is now for you, Christians, out of date. It has become obsolete. You don't need to break or adhere to it. If you try to adhere to it in a way that is... Um, like as an intercession on your behalf you become severed from christ it's really important that you understand this don't become circumcised don't worry about uh, dietary requirements because mark chapter 7 tells you and therefore and thus rather all foods are made clean so back to france i think that um the godlessness as it were of france had uh, you may know the enlightenment period and as uh, it was pretty left-wing like pretty uh, atheistic in its uh, social construct um and i think that leads to a vacuum and and yeah so adherence to one set of theism or another i.e islam or christianity in their core essence, the, the belief in one God is absolutely fine in Islam and, and in Christianity. And yet Christ came and preached a radically different way, the only way to salvation, and Muhammad contradicted Christ. He said, no, this isn't the case. Um, this isn't how it's done. He was merely a prophet. And, and the Bible tells me that any prophet after John is a false prophet. I don't have to kill them, like the Old Testament says. I don't have to take vengeance, because vengeance is mine, say of the Lord. And uh, the effects on my soul will... will I can uh, be severed from Christ as a result of, of trying to enact God's wrath and judgment when it's not my place, because I am a sinner, the same as Yahya. <laughs> speaking for him the same as everybody the same as the teacher who was killed i uh, please god he repented and was saved i don't know if he was a christian or not okay let's see uh, the new testament what it says we go to romans we're not debating romans. Uh, the bible though yeah yeah we're talking about france aren't we? did, did you realize something yeah, i didn't interrupt you when you but we've already decided what we're discussing no, no. you said the old testament you, and it's not apply on you and you said the new testament it doesn't apply it does apply okay let's apply uh, the new testament roman chapter 1 verse 24 32 infidel and gays should die roman 1 24 32 Infidel and gay should die. Should die, not should be die. killed. So, when they, when, according to her, should die, what does that mean, should die? Everyone will die. So, yeah, so. I don't know, so I, I can read the full verse. Yeah. Yeah, tell me where it is, tell me where it is. Uh, Romans, yeah. Romans 1, 24, 32. So I'm going to read from Infidel and gay should die. And regarding the killing, and I said we are against the killing of people to defend because the, Quran this guy, written, the Quran talk about the people, uh, the people where there is apply Sharia law, where a country under Sharia law. And I said the scholar should, when they arrest a person who offend Islam or offend the Prophet, they should sit with him and ask him why he done it why the excuse and if he can prove that the prophet is uh, as he's saying they should correct him and should rely on the quran teaching and apply what quran say against him to give him right to give him time to reflect and if they find him guilty at the end they can kill him 
under authority and under system of justice. It's not like Sharia law. Anyone spoke about the Prophet in a bad manner, you go and chop their hand or chop their, 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 their legs. This is not the way to deal with, uh, with justice system. Islam, Islam is the most just. And as I told Sister K, and I disagree with uh, the killing and the, the uh, Old Testament, and I disagree with the salvation she's talking about because she relied on the salvation of Paul, who contradicts the salvation of Christ. And I, we already we already talked about it, and I already explained that the salvation according to Jesus is to believe in the one God who be, who sent G, Jesus and do good deed and not by killing the innocent son for the sin of other because it's that means God is not just with his own son and accepting an innocent for the blood for innocent blood for the sin of other and God yeah, up, right, Romans, he's, he's got an incorrect reading of it. The no, verse that he's quoting, I'm going to give you the context, it's got, it's got is not Romans 1.24, it's Romans 1.32. Although they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things are worthy of death, so that's the righteous decree, that they are worthy of death, they not only continue to do these things but also approve of those who practice them. That's the verse he's talking about. It's not calling for the death of homosexuals. It's quoting the Old Testament. So what he's actually... It's the New the Testament. Me, New, it is New in the Testament. New Testament, but you read it wrong. The verse is, although they know God's righteous decree, already know that those who do such things are worthy of death, they not only continue to do these things but also approve of those who practice them. Yeah, yeah, so hold on. So the bits that were not read out, <laughs> he's talking about since the beginning. He's saying that God's wrath is poured out, um, is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what may be known about God is plain to them because God has made it plain for since the creation of the world. So he's talking about all time, uh, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen from his workmanship so that men are without excuse on judgment. And for all know they knew God, they neither glorified him nor gave thanks to him, but they become futile in their thinking and darkened in their foolish hearts. Although they, and then it goes on about the homosexuality and they were worshiping other gods. And it says, although they know that God has said previously, you are worthy of death, they still carry on and they approve of other people being godless and wicked. So that I, Islam okay. would agree that people who are godless deserve the wrath of God. Okay, so do you agree with me that uh, even that in the New Testament, no, the New Testament, uh, uh, something, I don't know which Bible she rely on. Anyone because you like. I, because I rely on NLT. Okay, I'll get it. I'll get it. Uh, because uh, there's too many versions of the Bible each one you will find different expression and they might be a change in the world. But anyway, this is the New Testament saying infidel and gay should die. That means you're allowed to kill them according to the law. I didn't interrupt. And uh, uh, please, no, no. Uh, rega, 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 okay, uh, let me ask you something. Would Jesus, would Jesus agree with adultery or, or for fornication? Or, or uh, homosexual, would Jesus agree? Can I about, answer? Yes, please. Okay, Jesus not only disagrees with the actions of, uh, hom uh, the expression of homosexuality for adultery, he disagrees. He teaches that not only is it a sin to fornicate, but if you lust after somebody who's married in your heart, you've already committed adultery with them. So he's not even talking about the physical act. We are all condemned as sinners in our hearts because we have to take each thought captive and conform it to the image of Christ. We can't do that without the Holy Spirit. So Jesus did agree with that. Jesus did not agree with do not eat um, those animals with the cloven thingamajig and who chew the cud. No, he didn't because Mark chapter 7 clearly and thus all foods are made clean. Okay. We know that Jesus... I like bacon sandwiches. We, we know that Jesus, peace upon him, he are a follower of Moses' law. And he would agree. Additional. I sorry, didn't sorry. interrupt. And he would uh, agree to apply the law of Moses because he's a Jew. And exactly when the woman uh, uh, she was caught in adultery, and they brought her to Jesus, but he want to teach them that to start a, a new chapter and 
uh, he forgave her and when they want to stone her he said for them anyone who has no sin he can throw the first stone that means he teach them not to fornicate again otherwise you will be stoned to death and he gives the woman the opportunity to repent and not to sin again and he spare her life but Jesus he teach uh, the Pharisee that when they talk to him about the washing of the hand of the disciple that you are not uh, punishing uh, the disobedient children by putting them to death when they disobey their, their parents because according to the law uh, 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 the death to hidden dead and death for cursing parent this is we find in exodus 21 15 and proverb 20 20 and we find it in leviticus 29 so jesus peace upon him as a follower of moses he didn't have he didn't have the authority to apply the law because the law actually was in the hand of the pharisees who was sitting in the seat of moses and applied and jesus went against all of them and he teach them that they are not following the law that's why we say uh, the bible teach he was sent to the lordship of israel to bring them back to the law of moses which there is a distance i didn't interrupt but you have you been a keep, monologue of you, 10 you, minutes you, you, you don't need you, to interrupt me you, you write me. it write down whatever i'm saying and yeah. when you have the chance I've you can it. you keep quoting the old testament i've already explained uh, you, you know i hate i hate uh, i hate i hate i hate to be rude to women and to interrupt and as you can see whenever i talk she keep interrupting and I don't interrupt. I ask her nicely, please write down whatever I say and you can reply according to you and you are on time. Anyway, I finish. I'm sorry. Okay, I've already refuted all of that. So what I'm going to go back to is the Pope and his comments on homosexuality. If he made those comments, I don't speak Italian or, or South American, whatever language he actually speaks. So I don't know what he said. I can only rely on reports. I've been told that some of them have been like doctored and whatever. Homosexuality is the sin. The homosexual is not um, to be hated um, because homosexuality is no worse than lying. In the six things that God hates and the seventh, yay, are an abomin abomination, and not abomination, that's the homosexuality. Abomination unto him. Him. twice lying lips are mentioned sowing disharmony or disunity among your brothers a light uh, a haughty look um, you know those are the things Homose well, homosexuality is not in them so God doesn't differentiate between fornication homosexuality um, adultery any um, anything that's outside of marriage sexually is sinful basically because um, God said that one man and one woman would become one flesh and therefore a man will leave his mother and father and uh, be joined unto his wife so God doesn't say homosexuals are more detestable than liars he absolutely doesn't he mentions liars twice in his top seven of the things that he hates um, so the Pope if he has said that homosex homosexuals are entitled to a family they are entitled to love and forgiveness and repentance and salvation yet they absolutely are so if that's what the Pope is saying I agree with him what I don't agree with is um, pro LGBT um, like propaganda basically because what people do in their own bedrooms if they're not a Christian even if they are a Christian is between them and God we don't I don't need a lobby um, telling me that I must call someone a man if they're actually a woman or the other way around I think Yaya would agree with that so we've come away from France quite a lot um, my defense of the Old Testament is in the New Testament it says this is obsolete but the Holy Spirit that lives within me is so in the Old Testament it's described in the Bible as the law is what convicts us of sin before the law came there was sin but nobody knew what what it was to sin specifically so the law convicts those people in today the Christians at least not for Jews the Holy Spirit convicts us but God bless the Holy Spirit as it were bless himself the Holy Spirit groans and intercedes on our behalf. He prays for us to the Father um, with, without even words, because God searches the mind of the Holy, the Father, sorry, searches the mind of the Holy Spirit. And um, in that respect, we are indwelt. We are a royal priesthood. We um, we don't want to sin. We have to keep all things holy. But that's not to say we don't sin. But when we do, we repent. 
Um, and that's not to say human beings should hold us to account. You rebuke twice, you wash your hands of it. It's between the person and God. And the person who was killed and the, both people who were killed in France, they both have to take it up with God on Judgment Day. They're unrepentant of sin. Uh, I would like to, uh, to finish this uh, uh, yeah. discussion by uh, giving a conclusion. Uh, thank you very much for uh, Soko uh, K, Soko Film and uh, Bible Outreach, uh, Islam Defender Yahya. And I would like to say that uh, we, we uh, need uh, to, to obey God and stay away from all the sin and uh, live by uh, to seek and uh, respect what the commandment of God by staying away from uh, unlawful sexual uh, homosexual and it's not gonna be accepted because it's against God's law and it's against Islam teaching it's against God's will and I hope that uh, uh, everyone uh, watch watch uh, uh, this uh, this video to uh, leave their comment with uh, uh, with uh, uh, and uh, say about uh, their, their opinion and uh, uh, hope uh, that my expression and my defense not taken as offensive because I seek the truth and uh, I invite everyone to uh, subscribe for my channel and K channel and uh, Ben channel and thank you very much and hope we see you in, in another video and thank you for, for everything. Ben! I can do a wrap up now. No, no. Good, 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 good. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, thank you she likes to do wrap up. Yes, thank you very much, Yaya. Um, I like talking to Yaya, he's on the phone at the minute. So, what I would say is, I agree broadly, uh, stay away from sin, although I also know from the Bible that we are living in a world under the dominion of Satan, and there's a quite a big kerfuffle going on over there, but please, God, nobody gets hurt. Um, and the Holy Spirit would pour themselves out on those people. Um, so the fruits of the Spirit are peace, patience, kindness, mercy, long-suffering. They are the fruits of the Spirit. They are not our own fruits. By their fruits you shall know them and thereby you will identify the Holy Spirit at work in their lives. We, in and of ourselves, are unrighteous and unworthy to be in God's presence. This is my sister. So, Hi, I just did a video. <laughs> Hello. Um, yeah, so pray for Lebanon, please. Um, I've got some friends over there. It's pretty hairy stuff going on at the moment. Please do pray for Christians everywhere. Pray for Muslims that the Holy Spirit would pour them, pour out upon them uh, the truth and the scales would be removed from their eyes. And God bless you. And please do subscribe to K Soko Films and Islam Defender Yaya. And you're already probably subscribed to Ben. So don't worry about it. All right. God bless.